Welcome to News Making Headlines on January 5th. The strained Thai Cambodian ties following the arrest of seven Thais accused of trespassing has received a spotlight from the Thai newspapers today. Thai Post main headline shouts out Push Cambodia to close cases. Gasset announces in cabinet if Cambodia drags out, ties reviewed. Pujit Gan says land owner insists. Seven Thai arrested on Thai soil. Cambodia frames up charges. Mark or opposite law getting them released. Matichon states Cambodian court hears case January 6. Mark admits Panit call insisting they are on Sakkeo side. Well, if you use the airport link train service, especially the express line, you would notice there are hardly any passenger on the train whereas the city lines is cramped with both Thai and foreigners. The reason is a big difference in the fare between the two lines. The management of the airport link will have to rethink its pricing strategy. A Pujit Gan's picture shows the quiet atmosphere at Makassan station that has been opened for check-in service on its first day yesterday after the fare of the express line has been increased from 100 baht to 150 baht for the whole trip. There were very few passengers. The story says few travelers using the check-in service because only travelers who use the express line service would be allowed to check in at the Makassan station. There were only eight passengers of Thai Airways checking in yesterday. Not many travelers use the express line because they have an option, the cheaper city line. Also, the price of the city lines has also been increased from a flat rate of 15 baht to 15 to 45 baht depending on the distance, starting on New Year. Meanwhile, the following headlines could be good news for officials and bad news for other people who believe that whenever the government raises salaries and allowances of state officials, rising cost of living is an inevitable negative consequence. Pujit Gan says, Mark Wu's officials, increasing allowances for accommodation, housing, rents, starting the new year. 74,000 private teachers receive special allowances in light of rising cost of living. Pawn shop officials also get increasing medical allowances. Not only official salary increase, but rising oil prices are also an important reason of inflation. Matichon says rising oil prices fear pushes inflation to 3.2%. In the political arena, there is a major development with the opposition Pua Thai Party. Thai Rat says Ying Lak pushed as Pua Thai Party leader. Dr. Krong or Virapong Ramang Kun, another Pua Thai Party leader favorite candidate, is half resist, half yield, meaning he accepts the proposal with reservations. Party members who support Ying Lak say she is more suitable because of her compromising personality. Following shocking revelations that Thai teenagers are Asia's top and world's second in terms of getting pregnant at young age, there have been efforts to change this disgraceful truth by concern of futures. Mati Chun says three strategies delivered to solve problems students having premature sex. One of the strategies is to develop the culture, say no to sex, and if sex is inevitable, use condom. Well, the idea of promoting the use of condom has been met with resistance from some conservative educators who disapprove of having condom vendors in schools, though these vending machines offer cheap condom of 5 to 10 baht each. Some students, especially in the Northeast, reportedly offer plastic bags because they cannot afford condoms. We wrap up our program with pictures of PM Apisip meeting with Privy Council Chief General Prem Tinsulanon for one hour on the New Year occasion at the Sisao residence. That's it for. Have a nice day. Thank <music> you.